Throughout World War II, the Nazi concentration camp Konzentrationslager Lublin, known to local residents and Third Reich officials by the name Majdanek, was considered one of the most harrowing and dangerous destinations in Poland. Throughout the war, more than 300,000 people were imprisoned in Majdanek, where they suffered from forced labor, horrendous living conditions, and constant outbreaks of deadly diseases. More than 78,000 prisoners were killed in the camp's gas chambers. In 1944, when Majdanek became the first concentration camp to be liberated by Allied soldiers, it served as the world's first introduction to the true horrors of the Holocaust. Given the squalid and lethal conditions of Majdanek, survivors' accounts are exceedingly rare, yet are of vast historical significance. This month, Hoover Library and Archives teams with the Hoover Press and the State Museum at Majdanek to publish the first uncensored English language edition of one of the most complete accounts ever written of life in Majdanek. The memoir, 485 Days at Majdanek, written by Jerzy Kiyakowski, tells the story of prisoners' desperate struggle to survive hard labor and mass extermination and to maintain hope. Kiyakowski, a Polish lawyer imprisoned in 1943 under suspicion of collaborating with the resistance movement, was one of the last prisoners transported out of the camp before its liberation. When finally freed by American soldiers on May 3, 1945, Kiyakowski immediately sat down to write his vivid memories of Majdanek, using an old typewriter and scrap paper to produce a lasting testament of one of World War II's most notorious death camps. This new edition of 485 Days at Majdanek is richly illustrated with rare archival images from the Hoover Institution Library and Archives and the State Museum at Majdanek. They are proud to make this unique historical record available to those seeking to understand the true human experience of the Holocaust and life under authoritarian rule. <laughs>